Coming up on this edition of New England Ski Journal, ski season is here, and that means finding deals on new gear at the Country Ski and Sports Ski Expo. We also check in with some local mountains to find out what's new this year. And looking to head west, we'll hear from Eagle Crest in Alaska, as well as Jackson Hole. Ski season is here. I'm Meredith Gorman and welcome to a new season of New England Ski Journal presented by Country Ski and Sport. And that's where we begin as we recently attended the annual Country Ski and Sport Ski Expo in Hanover, Massachusetts. Welcome to the Country Ski Expo in Hanover, Massachusetts. It's our fourth year doing it. We've expanded into the baseball facility. It's really a nice big event. Plenty of parking, beer garden, it's awesome. Every year we're getting a little bit bigger, which is great to see, but you're still gonna get that personalized shopping experience. We have people coming to help out, whether it's from different brands or from the shops. Boa ski boots are really the newest kind of more popular thing happening right now. People seem to be excited about it. We bring as many local companies as we can that kind of fit our vibe. We're really excited to have basically one of our best friends in the community, Levitate, come to the show this year. We also kind of went all in with Stellwagen Brewery from Marshfield, another local company. And this year we finally collaborated on a New England style IPA called the Daffy. The can is really cool. It's got an awesome retro logo with a stick figure doing the Daffy. So hopefully we continue that. Maybe we do a back scratcher next year or the Spread Eagle. We have a ton of mountains. They're showing up with limited time deals and discounts and season passes too. I got a K2 board, uh, ride bindings, and a pair of new boots for myself. And I mean, it's like $500 off everything in total. So it's pretty good. Padded bags for your skis to travel and you know, airplane, check, check your skis when you go on the airplane. What else do we buy, girls? Some, we face, buy? some, some face masks. Yeah. We're going to Colorado in February. Every Veterans Day weekend, we do the ski sales. But when we're not open for the ski show, we do have three retail stores. We have one in Hanson, one in Quincy, and one in Westwood. So, you know, definitely make sure you come into the shops, but uh, this should be an annual event on your calendar. Country Ski and Sport will be presenting tips on gear throughout this season on New England Ski Journal. And we'll also have more from the expo later in the show. Coming up next, we check in at a couple New England resorts, Tenney Mountain in New Hampshire, and Sugarloaf in Maine. Stay with us. New England Ski Journal is brought to you by Country Ski and Sport, a family business celebrating over 50 years of exceptional service. By Hestra Gloves, taking care of your hands since 1936 and by Great Glen Trails, your one-stop destination for winter adventure at the base of Mount Washington in Pinkham Notch, New Hampshire. Welcome back to New England Ski Journal, brought to you by Country Ski and Sport. We are shopping for deals at their annual ski expo in Hanover, Massachusetts. And if you live in Massachusetts and are looking for a new place to ski that is nearby, how about Tenney Mountain in Plymouth, New Hampshire? People have been skiing Tenney Mountain since the 1930s, but most recently Tenney was purchased by new owners who are planning to make it a year-round resort. And here to tell us about it is someone you may recognize, extreme skier and filmmaker Dan Egan, who is also the general manager at Tenney. Dan, why don't we start with a little basic information about Tenney? Yeah, you know, Tenney is an easy ride right up 93. We're just 40 minutes north of Concord, New Hampshire, uh, and we're just seven to 11 minutes off the highway in Plymouth, New Hampshire. So super easy to get to, main access, and right there from the highway, you've got big mountain skiing. It's that ski area in New England that reminds you that you're in New England. With new ownership, we heard that there are a lot of new things going on at Tenney. You know, we're just revitalizing the ski area, and that's bringing it all back, from cutting the trails back to their original width, to refurbishing all the lifts, reinstitutionalizing all of our activities. Do you have any deals going on right now with lift tickets? Yeah, Tenny Mountain, we're always a deal. Uh, we're just $65 on a weekend. Uh, we're $45 midweek. So it's really a steal, you know, when you think about it. I also read that you have some big building plans coming up. 
Yeah, as we move forward, we're uh, putting a new snowmaking pond at the top of the mountain. So that's going to increase our snowmaking power. And you're going to start to see development coming to Tenny, real estate development from hotels, condos, and beyond. So why should someone check out Tenny Mountain? You know, why wait in line? Why ski on a crowded slope? Why overpay for something that we all love to do? You know, this is skiing the way it should be. A family can walk up to Tenny any day of the week and get a great deal. We all know that skiing and snowboarding is the ultimate generational sport. We do it with our families, we do it with our friends. You have three generations on one chairlift. It's so special and that place to do it is Tenny Mountain. You can learn more about what's new at Tenny Mountain. Just go to skitenny.com. From New Hampshire, we go to Maine and one of the largest and most popular resorts in New England, Sugarloaf. And here now is Marketing Director Jessica Seckler. Hi Jess, what's new this season at Sugarloaf? Yeah, well, it's been a couple years in the works, but we are really excited to be rolling out with our West Mountain expansion. So it's the largest expansion to happen in the Northeast since the late 1970s. And we're gonna be bringing online a total of 12 new trails, which would encompass 120 new skiable acres and a new high-speed quad called the uh, Bucksaw Express. So that'll be servicing if you're looking at the mountain lookers right. And it's a whole new zone that we're going to be bringing online probably, you know, end of January, early February is our target for that. And uh, families are gonna love it. Uh, it really gives a new dynamic to the way we ski and ride here at Sugarloaf. And adds to the whole family experience, I imagine. Exactly, and also adds to um, our ski in, ski out um, development as well. It brings on a whole sort of new real estate opportunities over in the West Mountain. And um, starting with, we had 20 single family home lots available, 16 of which are already sold. Over the course of the next few years, we'll be bringing on uh, townhomes as well as condos. So lots of development here at Sugarloaf happening. Sounds like it. And do you have any upcoming events that you'd like to promote? So yeah, as far as our winter calendar events, things really start to kick off December 17th with our annual tree lighting where we kick off um, Santa comes to the village and we have a big tree lighting ceremony for the kids. Um, and then we head right into Christmas week. Uh, we have a couple of signature events that we host every year. One of which is early January. It's our Electric Mountain, which is an electronic dance music festival. And then of course, my favorite and probably a lot of uh, favorites, we have Reggae on the Mountain, which is our big reggae fest. Um, and that's happening in April to kind of wrap up the season. For everything going on at Sugarloaf, including more about that reggae festival, go to sugarloaf.com. When we come back on New England Ski Journal, we check in at a Massachusetts favorite, Wachusett Mountain. Plus, we find out what's new at Great Glen Trails at the base of Mount Washington. We are back on New England Ski Journal, brought to you by Country Ski and Sport. We're hanging at their annual ski expo, and now it's time for our annual visit with Chris Stimson at Wachusett Mountain in Princeton, Massachusetts. Hi, Chris, it's great to see you. Tell us what's going on at Wachusett this season. Absolutely, great to be here once again, uh, the Ski Journal. So yeah, we got a couple uh, exciting things coming down the pipeline this season. Obviously, the, the biggest one that we want to talk about is the brand newly renovated uh, Minuteman Express lift. We put in a whole new motor, new electrical and new hydraulics into this chairlift. It was about a million and a half dollar project with Doppelmeyer that we did over the summer. So uh, it's gonna look the same, but it is basically a brand new chairlift. So Chris, do you have any deals going on at Wachusett, like at your ski school? Sure, oh, obviously uh, always our best deal is our beginner package. Um, if it's, it's perfect for someone who's learning how to ski for the first time. It's, it includes lift ticket, lesson, and rental, all for $129. And we are bringing back the bring a friend deal. So if you have a friend that doesn't ski and you're a skier, um, you can bring a friend, you get a lift ticket, and your friend gets a beginner package, and we're bundling that all into one price. Uh, I don't have the price in front of me, but it's a great deal as well for, for skiers and for non-skiers. I know night skiing is popular at Wachusett. 
Can you tell us a little more about that? Sure. Night skiing's back. Uh, it'll be going until 7 p.m. until Christmas, and then after Christmas, we'll extend to 9:30 p.m. for the rest of the season. Uh, always fun to get out there after school and after work to to get a couple runs in. Can you still take the train from Boston to watch you sit? Yep, the ski train is back for another season. Uh, we were just meeting with Keolis, the train operators, recently. So the ski train is going to operate Saturdays and Sundays. I think it's the early train out of North Station. You take it all the way to Wachusett Station. We'll pick you up with the shuttle, and then you take it back in at the end of the day. We're also going to be doing this on Wednesday nights uh, as part of the college night. So if anybody is going to school in Boston, they can take the train out and uh, enjoy that same benefit. You can learn more at watchusit.com. Now, we know that some of you look for outdoor activities besides alpine skiing, and for that, they have everything at Great Glen Trails in New Hampshire. To tell us more about that is brand and marketing manager, Megan Moody-Schwartz. Megan, tell us all about what there is to do at Great Glen Trails. So here, it's a one-stop shop. You can go cross-country skiing, you can go tubing with your family, you can rent fat bikes, or you can go snowshoeing. We also have the Mount Washington Snow Coach, which is a one-of-a-kind experience where we take you on a guided tour up the Mount Washington Otter Road to Treeline. You have plenty of land and it is quite scenic. So we have 45 kilometers of trails all together. Uh, over 20 of those are groomed for skate skiing and cross-country skiing. And then we also have just as many of untracked where you can go backcountry Nordic skiing or snowshoeing. We know you have fun events each year. Can you talk about a few that are coming up? So event season kicks off right after the holiday season. So vacation week will be beautiful and hopefully snowy, busy here. We'll be headed into the New Hampshire Sanctions Snow Sculpting Competition, which is the last weekend in January, um, January 26th through the 28th. And that's hosted by the Jackson Chamber of Commerce. On Sunday, February 25th this year, we have our ski shoe fat bike to the clouds. This event's known as the America's toughest 10K so athletes have the choice of either skate skiing, snowshoeing, or fat biking at the base of Mount Washington and then up the Mount Washington Auto Road, which is just a grueling type two type of fun in the winter race. Anything else to tell us about Great Glen Trails? Think about gifting and experience this holiday season as well. I know for myself, I get to see all of these different families and couples and duos and groups come together and experience something new together, as well as something that they love in a new place. And there are no better views than here at the base of Mount Washington in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. Thank you, Megan. Go to greatglentrails.com for more. And sticking with our smaller resort theme, it's time for another annual visit to Burke Mountain in Vermont. Joining us now is the marketing and events manager at Burke Mountain, Sarah Koslu. Hi, Sarah. Tell us all that's happening at Burke. Yeah, we were really excited. We were able to start making snow on October 31st this year. Um, we are currently open for skiing and riding. So if you're in the Northeast Kingdom area of Vermont, definitely come stop by. We're still going to be offering our other mountain pass this year. It's an incredible price of $65 for anybody that holds an active pass at any other mountain or resort. There's no blackouts on that. So it's any time this season. I know that you have an incredible Wednesday deal to ski at Burke. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, absolutely. So it's one of the best weekday ski deals, I'd say, uh, all around. It's Wicked Wednesday. Buy one, get two free. So everybody is skiing for a price of one. Our midweek price is $45. So that's essentially $15 for everybody. Uh, there are blackouts on that. So it's only midweek, not holiday though. For people looking to stay at Burke, you have a hotel right on the mountain, don't you? Yeah, we do. We have a slopeside ski in, ski out a hotel with 116 rooms. They range from studio to three bedroom. You're always going to have a view, um, no matter what room you're in, either of slopeside, so our mountain, or the Willoughby Gap. So you get a great view on either side of the hotel. Sarah, what do you like about Burke Mountain? I love Burke because I grew up coming here. I am uh, not from this area, but we came every single weekend. It's a really great family mountain and that kind of community feel is what drew me back to Burke um, from being younger. So it's just kind of playing off of that and stuff like that. It's really great nostalgic family mountain, I think. And mark your calendars for later this month as New England Ski Journal presents a brand new show all on Burke Mountain. 
Up next, we head west all the way to Alaska where we check out Eagle Crest. Plus, we learn everything going on right now at Jackson Hole. Hi, I'm Ray the Fourth. This is the Country Ski Ski Expo in Hanover. I got poles, bindings, boots, uh, helmet, goggles, and some socks. I've actually been trying to hunt these gloves down for years because they were always I have big hands. You know what they say about big hands, big gloves. It looks like there are some great deals going on at the Country Ski and Sports Ski Expo. Welcome back. Occasionally, we like to feature some resorts out west for all you travelers out there. And we start with about as west as you can get in the U.S., Alaska. Joining us now is Kristen Strom, Marketing and Events Manager at Eagle Crest. Hi, Kristen. Why don't we start with how would I get to Eagle Crest? Yeah, of course. So Eagle Crest is Alaska's best kept secret. It's located in Juneau. Uh, Juneau is only a two hour flight from Seattle, which may surprise people, but it's more accessible than you think. We have 36 marked trails, but so many more unmarked. We're just four main double seater chairlifts, uh, kind of old school, but uh, we're also open boundaries. Can you give us some places to stay at Eagle Crest? Yeah, for sure. Um, so there's no lodging at the base area of the ski area, but there is lodging opportunities all over downtown Juneau. And downtown Juneau is only a 15 to 20 minute drive to Eagle Crest, and we have a snow bus available. And we actually have a great ski and stay package coming out soon with Travel Juneau. And those hotel deals will be located at the Four Points downtown or the Ramada downtown. And keep your eyes peeled for that too. I assume you are a skier or snowboarder. What do you like about Eagle Crest? It really is one of those hidden gem ski areas. Everything you hear about Alaska and Eagle Crest is true. No lines, no crowds, easy parking, uh, more accessible than you think. Our day tickets are only $75 a day. And then, man, the big Alaska terrain as well. It's just those Alaska lines that you are really looking for when you come to visit. Plus we're on an island and you get ocean views from the top of Eagle Crest. It's stunning, we get a lot of fresh snow. Our storm cycles are more consecutive, so we'll see a few inches of new snow every day rather than you know one big storm cycle where we make it last for the season. It's continuous new snow, which is awesome. Thanks, Kristen. And I'm sure we can find more on your website. What an amazing trip that would be, but how about if we could go back in time to the old Wild West and ski? Well, they have that and so much more at Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Here now is Andrew Way, who we spoke to last ski season. And Andrew, I remember being struck by how easy it is to get to Jackson Hole. You even have an airport right there. We do, yeah, there's a, there's a great airport that's, uh, as the crow flies, about four miles from the resort. It's the only place in the country where you can land and take off inside a national park. It's actually located in within the boundaries of Grand Teton National Park. Uh, I've certainly flown in and out of some great places, um, but I would argue this might be the best view. You fly in on a clear day and the Tetons are right over your over your shoulder as you land and it's, it's really beautiful. We're really fortunate uh, here at Jackson. Not only do we have uh, the steep side of the Tetons uh, going for us, Rendezvous Peak is where the tram, the very famous Big Red tram goes to. Uh, that goes up 4,000 feet. It is some of the longest contiguous skiing in, in, in the United States, skiing top to bottom from tram back down to village. We also have two Gandhis, Sweetwater and Bridger, uh, and then a large number of chairs spread throughout the mountain uh, for really good connectivity and really good uh, you know, uh, terrain accessibility in terms of both spreading people out so that you don't feel you know overcrowded on the slopes, and then also in terms of ability level. And how about a little more about the area and the parks? It's not your everyday ski resort. No, it's not. I mean, we're wild here, man. <laughs> this is some of the uh, most remote country in the lower 48. Uh, here up in northwestern uh, Wyoming. And um, and because of that, and part of that is uh, you've got two national parks. Yellowstone's just 40, 45 minutes north, and Grand Teton National Park is right here. Uh, the ski resort actually borders Grand Teton National Park. If you take the tram up, you look off the backside of the resort straight into the park. It's very cool. There's not a lot of humans up here. 
Um, and what there are a lot of are big, big animals. What to you is special about Jackson Hole? This is a Western town. You know, when you walk around Jackson, you're still walking on wooden sidewalks. Um, you are seeing people with cowboy boots that actually have mud and other stuff on them as opposed to, you know, real, real shiny new ones. <laughs> and uh, so we're really proud of our Western heritage. We think that's something that's relatively unique to the area. And then, the, you know, the second piece that I think makes us unique is that this is not a cookie cutter experience. You know, we are, as I mentioned earlier, we're wild out here. This is a very remote uh, part of the country. Uh, and to be able to fly into a place this remote and this raw uh, from 13 different destinations across the country is really incredible. Um, particularly um, folks from New England can get here really pretty easily, easier than ever. And because there's so few humans here, you don't have to go way outside of town to really feel like you're out there in it. Those are two pieces of, of what we think makes Jackson unique and, and certainly that we're really proud of. Thanks, Andrew. Check out jacksonhole.com for more. And that does it for our first New England Ski Journal of the season. I'm Meredith Gorman, and we'll see you next time. Enjoy the slopes. New England Ski Journal is brought to you by Country Ski and Sport, a family business celebrating over 50 years of exceptional service. By Hestra Gloves, taking care of your hands since 1936. And by Great Glen Trails, your one-stop destination for winter adventure at the base of Mount Washington in Pinkham Notch, New Hampshire.